This sample shows good preparation with the removal of the paint finish and all the soft and decayed timber removed. With this quality of preparation you can get good repairs like this one. This area here is poor preparation where the paint's been left on and the edges are feathered off to nothing. This close up emphasises a good preparation with the 5mm shoulder cut into the repair and this area here showing the poor preparation with the paint left on and the feathered edges. Now should the repair be larger than this you would change the repair method should the seal be rotten, the drip all rotten, and you needed to repair a large area of this seal, you would change the method and bed on a new seal front, ensuring a 5mm bed of resin between the old and the new timber. This will be demonstrated later on in the DVD. Although you can use a hammer and chisel for removing seal fronts, etc., it's essential that you use the Mini Profi for final preparation. The Mini Profi running at 27,000 revs can cut up to glass and remove all soft and decayed timber with a minimum of disturbance to the surrounding area. This just shows the cutter being inserted to the full depth of the collet which is important. We're now going to show the preparation of a conservation joint using the Mini Profi and the round cutter. And it is important to make sure that the joint is cut to a minimum depth of 10mm and 10mm wide. <laughs> 